But may I call on our most distinguished critic to speak for art, Mr. Quentin Judd. Permission to quote from my critique? Permission granted, sir. Critics earn nothing but hatred by telling the truth. My friends, at one point in reviewing Youngblood's peculiar new book, he has his heroine say to her seducer from the feverish depths of a hawkishly hot bed, I hate you for allowing me to hope. That will be the lead line of my review. Want to hear the rest? Although uh, the first Hawk novel was attacked by the pris panted ivory tower professors, I still had reason to hope, but that hope was not fulfilled by the Pulitzer Prize jury, for it was that same jury who passed up Main Street, the great Gatsby, an American tragedy, sound in the fury, look homeward, angel, a farewell to arms, a... But need I say more? That one book doth not an author make. And this book, labeled a novel, was to be the proof of the pudding. The proof it is not. Pudding it is. This is a pudding book overstuffed with thick pages, fat with useless margins, swollen with oversized type. Is this a novel? No. This is a novella, pumped and padded into the semblance of a novel, and as such, it's a cheat. Frankly, I had a premonition that our Kentucky stag would be brought to his knees by the hounds of the metropolis. Now, his adventures into the world of the fast buck are no concern of mine. But this book is. So, since I have been asked to speak for art, I would like to propose a toast and one last, perhaps, forlorn hope that the man of Hawk House Forget about being the big money maker and reinstitute his original convictions to become a writer. The stag and the chips are down. <laughs>